you expected? I mean, yeah, of course, like we want to get the result and, uh, you know, of course, we always want to win and get some points on the board. But I had a great experience, you know, it was a great time in Columbus, you know, definitely a crowd to be in front of for your first, you know, away game and uh, debut game. So, uh, yeah, I had a ton of fun, you know, but uh, yeah, we're looking to bounce back this weekend and hopefully we get some points. Did the crowd do their homework on you? Did they know stuff or was it just kind of generic? Uh trash talk yeah some generic banter you know uh nothing nothing too harmful you know but uh it was definitely cool you know to be around and they had great fans so so what do you know after one mls game that you didn't know before that um i mean it's intense you know every single minute every single ball you know everything matters so you know just making sure you're staying focused you know the entire 90 minutes and 90 plus so we saw Zach come out and talk to you right after the final result on the field. What did he say? Yeah, I mean, he's been a great support system, you know, and, uh, you know, just keep my head up, you know. It's, it's one game, you know, so just got to keep moving forward and we'll keep pushing and hopefully get some points. At what point did you know that uh, you were going to get the start on Saturday? Um, yeah, I had a conversation with Pablo after I came back from camp and, uh, you know, we had a you know, little conversation and he asked me if I was, you know, willing to go and I was ready. So, you know, I wanted to get after and help try and help the team, so. So what do you feel like you were maybe able to uh, to show at the, at the camp and over these maybe these last few months and weeks that has put you in that, in that position to be ready? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, just coming in and trying to compete every day, you know, like having the mentality that I can play with anybody, you know, and, you know, this is where I want to be at and this is the environment that I want to be in every day. So just trying to be, you know, and it's helpful to Zach and Tomas, you know, every day and just being around the guys. The first goal was, I think, a difficult opportunity for you because he got a lot of space and basically had the whole goal to shoot out, but it yeah. looked like you almost got it. Yeah, I got a little bit of a fingertip too, you know. <laughs> Definitely wish I could have gotten a little bit more to it, but it's all good, so hopefully get the next one. Yeah. With Zellerim on the penalty, were you, were you guessing? Did you know his tendencies? Yeah, I had watched a replay of his uh, previous PK, and it was a slow run-up, you know, so I knew he, he took that stutter step, and he just sent me the other way, you know, so I kind of had to just start going. Yeah. And then what happened on the third goal? Yeah, third goal definitely should have done better, you know. Uh, started kind of leaning a little early and just kind of caught me in the chest and I wasn't able to hold on to it. But uh, yeah, definitely wish I could get that one back. What's the culture like around this RSL team? What do you like? Yeah, I mean, we're all family, you know. We all battle for each other every day and, you know, we want each other to get better and, you know, we want to win at the end of the day. And I think that's our goal right now, you know, just get on that right front foot and, you know, keep pushing. I mean, that's the only thing you can do, you know, when you're in a kind of a tough situation. So all it does can you do is just keep running with it, so. Absolutely, and what kind of is the conversation around practice? Are you guys being hard on each other? Are we hyping each other up? A little bit of both? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we definitely got to be, you know, true with everybody. And I think just keep pushing, you know, like we just got to keep keeping positive, positive energy. And uh, yeah, just want, we just want to win, you know, so. But we got to do the right thing in training, so. And one more from you, when you did get back and Pablo was like, hey man, it's your turn. What, was, what did he kind of say to you um, to get you in there and get you hyped? Yeah, I mean, it's my first game, you know, so definitely a big moment, a big opportunity. So just take it and have fun, you know, like the only thing, if you're not having fun, you're not doing the right thing. So that was the biggest thing. Just have fun and, you know, do what you know, you know how to do. So what did Pablo say to you afterwards? Um, yeah, definitely, you know, not the result we were hoping for, but, uh, you know, it was all pretty positive And uh, yeah, you know, just going for the next one. What's kind of the number one thing that you can learn from sort of that moment and, and the start and and just sort of the, the extra speed of play because you've always played in probably thousands of games in your career at this point, U team, national team, Monarchs, whatever. Like, yeah. what's kind of the number one thing that you can kind of take away and get better? I yeah, I mean, these players are smart, you know. They're all looking for that little one thing to, uh, you know, beat you here or beat you there, you know. So just making sure that you're switched on and you're you're ready for everything, so. On the, going back to the penalty, sorry, but uh, when, uh, when you get a penalty kick called as a goalkeeper in your very first MLS game, yeah. what's kind of going through your mind right there, and how do you sort of unsike yourself out, I guess, for that moment? Yeah, I mean, you, you want to make the save, you know, so just trying to get in that mindset of I'm going to make the save and, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, be that guy. So, unfortunately, that wasn't the case this one, but hopefully the next one, so. Is there is there anything that you kind of, that's sort of your go-to to go like, okay, that happened, here's how I can kind of calm myself down, like this is what I know I have to do before the kick, before you even know maybe who's taking it, that kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, just getting on the line, you know, kind of getting yourself mentally prepared and, uh, and ready for it, you know, that's all you really can do because it's a free shot for them, you know, so you're just trying to make the save.